Prescott cooks. Big catch. And a first down for Dallas. It's a great ride by, route by Brandon Cooks. He gets enough. Samuel is driving on it, but give Prescott credit for this throw. Five-man rush. He hangs in there. He knew he had the one-on-one. -on -one. Then it's just a matter of Cooks winning on the route, which he does. That's great execution, picking up the first down. On third and nine, 11 yards to Brandon Cooks. And the Cowboys now with under three to go with a tight formation. Kendrick's late on the field, and the umpire almost got run over on that play. Yeah, that should just be a, basically a complete redo. Players He's not in a position to officiate. The substitution rule. The defense is allowed to match that substitution. First out. So the umpire was in there because there was a late substitution and he's trying to stop the snap and that's a dangerous spot. <laughs> well, that was that was Keystone cops. They substituted late. Then you got the Chargers trying to run their guy out to match it. And umpires caught in the crossfire. Great drive put together by Dallas. <laughs> Ten plays 54 yards. First down. Pollard. Back near the line of scrimmage, no gain. Kendricks with the tackle. Yeah, Staley's starting to use those timeouts now. He's got one left. He just used one. With 2.36 to go. Let's take a look at our total replay brought to you by Tekken and 10 at the Charger 21. They fake the handoff, and Prescott keeps the clock running by going down and not throwing an incompletion. No gain, and the Chargers use their last timeout. Well, as Dak comes back, he, he's looking for C.D. Lamb the entire way, and they do a pretty good job, the Chargers do, taking him away, but he had he had his fullback, Lipke, in the flat. You can, Put it, put it on him quick. There's C.D. Lamb. You got Lipke number 40 going to the flat. So there's a, there's a corner underneath that, not wanting to risk anything to try to fit it in there. But this, uh, this becomes big right here, certainly for the Chargers. Prescott tonight 11 for 11 for 153 and a touchdown when targeting Lamb or Cooks. Third down and 10. Complete. Prescott had him, led him too far, and the field goal unit comes on for Dallas. He definitely had him. We've seen the misses by Herbert. This is one. Couldn't tell if there was enough contact on the route. But Kenneth Murray was the one in coverage, in man coverage on him. I couldn't tell. He might have gotten his hands on him. He might have gotten his hands on him as he was trying to get past him that may have thrown the throw off just enough. The rookie Brandon Aubrey is good. Here's Pollard and Murray right as he gets past him. The, he reached out with the hand. That's that's what I saw. I didn't know if there was enough of a of contact that that altered the route at all. There probably was because he's not able to hit it at full stride, but you know just boy those are those are throws that keep you up at night when you get home at after this long flight back to Dallas. Depending on what the outcome of this game is and that incompletion stopped the clock chargers will have over two minutes as they'll trail by three. No timeouts and only one on the board for Dallas. And the drive will start at the 25.
Well, here we are. We talked about it, Joe, coming into the game and the kind of game that you want to play against Dallas. Now they didn't pound them with the running game the way that you the way that you expect against this defense, but down three points with over two minutes to play. Chance to go tie it up or go win the game. I, I think a lot of people would take that. Allen. Right out of bounds and a nice pickup on first down of seven. There's a flag on the far side of the field. It's against Dallas. For an offside. So you want first and five or second and three? Offside. Defense number 11. Five yard penalty. Still first down. He wants first and five as they get Micah Parsons for being offside. Well, you, what you'll see is with a lot of defenses, we'll see if they change it up. But on that last play, there's Parsons on the on the bottom. Got called, but defenses will play a little softer now. They're tightening it up down here to the boundary. But there's a lot of throws underneath that you can move the chains. Herbert takes off and he'll slide two yards short of the first down. Tackled by Lawrence and we are headed for the two minute warning. Which gives us a chance. For this so back to you. Scott thank you. Second down for the Chargers down by three. Yeah good look at Parsons there. They've, they've been pretty quiet tonight. He's just been involved in one tackle. No sacks by the defense at all. They've handled him. No sacks at San Francisco either and here it is. Right on cue, Parsons, his first, the Cowboys first, and what a time for it, a loss of eight. Pretty good job there by Dan Quinn and what he was able to dial up, but Parsons had to fight through two blockers because of the way he was bringing the pressure, but man, he just split those two and was all over Herbert. Now third down and ten. First sack of the night, Herbert. Gets rid of it and he's picked. Intercepted by the Cowboys. The catch is good. And Gilmore's the one who got it. Well, this pressure, they hadn't gotten home. All night they've affected Herbert, but they hadn't gotten home and when they needed a play It was the front that made it happen. There's the sack by Parsons and they come off of that Stephon Gilmore has got a little help with safety So he's able to drive on this route by Quentin Johnston So the two guys they were depending on coming into this season of course Micah Parsons and all that he means to this group but Stephon Gilmore going out and picking up the former defensive player of the year when he was with New England, those two make big plays to seal this game. I think this win says a lot for the Cowboys. Big win on the road for Dallas after last week and that loss at San Francisco. Dak outplayed Herbert. And the Cowboys stars, C.D. Lamb, Tony Pollard, and then that young man, Micah Parsons, made a play when it counted most. Cowboys are going to head back to Texas with a record of four and two. Yeah, you see why Stephon Gilmore was able to sit on that route. He had safety help over the top. But the pressure package that Dan Quinn dialed up there with Micah Parsons to get after him. And then to be able to seal it with Gilmore. Uh, yeah, we, we saw how happy Mike McCarthy is over there on that sidelines getting out of here with a win. The Cowboys are telling their sideline to go back, but I think the officials are just leaving well enough alone. There's a little discrepancy between play clock and game clock, but this game is over. And a three-point win for the Cowboys, and what a response to that loss they had.